we're doing the startup of our Young Women in Trades and Technologies camp. So it's a week-long camp for junior high students who are interested in trying out different things um, to see kind of where their career path could take them. It's pretty cool that we get to come to like behind the scenes and do a whole bunch of hands-on things. So we've got those oxygen bottles just laying there on the deck. That's a hazard, yeah? So we had them in different stations, so we have a virtual reality component. We also gave them the opportunity to learn some of our more basic uh, tasks like tying knots and rigging and things like that. See, you've got to just go take this, need maybe one more little twist. And then we actually had them on an actual structure. It's really cool how you get to learn what different paths you could take in for a career, for your future. This is amazing, just seeing these young females come in, getting an interest for it. I mean, there's so much out there for us. Um, I know when I was younger, I had never had any of this. Usually you're just in the classroom writing down notes, right? It's cool to actually learn from experience. The young people nowadays, they bring a different perspective, a fresh set of eyes. That's one of the great things about the partnership we have with Careers. We get young participants interested in the trade and learning about it at a much younger age. Top. Hold it with your thumb. Snap, snap. We're hoping to get people to start thinking about trades as a viable alternative to the traditional method of post-secondary of college and university. By getting your hands dirty and actually trying the projects, you're seeing whether or not that's something you might like to get into. I don't like hearing that. I think it's cool how women are starting to do what men do. Starting to be treated equally. When it's just the girls, they can actually just show and learn. To give them the opportunity to realize that the trades are about ability, it's not about their gender. Grab that bell, slam it close as hard as you can. Don't be afraid to get your feet wet. There's a lot of different uh, options in this field uh, for once you're done with high school. Throughout this week, they'll get a chance to do some welding, electrical, carpentry. So there's a lot of different areas that they'll get exposure to. I'm just happy that I got to see all these different trades. There you go. That's cool. 25, 26. So we get across up the what? They've certainly felt the energy of everybody around them, of how happy they are to have girls there. and. Um, to learn about what they're doing and certainly I've enjoyed also that people have really wanted to teach them about what their job is and what it does. Mentorship I think is key to giving them that interest in what the future could look like and it also helps to build a future workforce. Going into their high school years they'll have a better idea of what that path could look like for them.